The Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass is successful and gamers and fans have been talking about what courses and tracks could come to the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass. But today I wanted to talk about a different type of DLC that could come if Mario Kart 8 Deluxe's Booster Course Pass is very successful and that is the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Character Boost Pass. Now obviously this pass would contain multiple characters just like Smash Ultimate's Fighters Passes, and for the safe bet and knowing Nintendo and for the purposes of this video, I believe there'll be 10 or 11 characters, but knowing Nintendo, they'll probably go with 10 as they would probably not want to stretch it out too long because the booster course pass, and also just keep it around maybe a year. So today we'll be talking about the, this pass and seeing what contents and characters it could include. Now, for the purposes of this video, I'll be listing the first five characters of the Booster Character Pass, or the Character Boost Pass, that you would receive in this DLC, to not keep you guys here forever. This is also in the order I have put the characters. Now, Pauline, Diddy Kong, Birdo, Professor Egad, and King the Bomb are my choices for the first five of the Character Boost Pass. The one that makes the most sense here is Pauline, as she has already appeared in Mario Kart Tour. And since Nintendo are reusing assets from Mario Kart Tour for the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass, anyways, right now, I feel like just adding these characters, you will need to add the stats, models, voice lines, animations, and carts over to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe just to add these characters to the game. And I feel like not adding new characters would be a missed opportunity. Now, for the second character and the sixth character of the character boost pass, I will be taking a look at Bowser's right hand man and everyone's favourite Mario magician, none other than Kamek. Now, Kamek has appeared in Mario Kart Tour and is also was planned for Mario Kart 64. But tragically, in Mario Kart 8's data files, Kamek's logo and icon was found for the game, and for some reason he wasn't added. What a shame! Hopefully they'll add him eventually to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe if they do actually add more characters to the game. Now, for the next character, I wanted to go a little bit funky and add Funky Kong to the mix. Now, Nintendo luckily added him to Mario Kart Tour, thank god we needed him, and also Funky Kong does have some history with Mario Kart obviously appearing in Mario Kart Wii and Mario Kart Tour. Now, guys, they were going to add him, then they, all they could do is literally just use his stats and models and all that from Mario Kart Tour and add him to the game. Now, for the next character, I wanted to take a look at everyone's favourite piranha plant from the GameCube, Super Mario Sunshine, none other, uh, none other than P.T. Piranha. Now, P.T. Piranha has only appeared in Mario Kart Double Dash in the Mario Kart series, and it's such a shame. Hopefully, we will see him in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe or Mario Kart Tour eventually, if they do add more characters to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Now, for the ninth character and the next character of this pass, I wanted to take a look at an iconic Mario enemy, someone every Mario fan will know straight away, and that is none other than Hammerbro. Now, Hammerbro has appeared in Mario Kart Tour, and for a character that's been throwing hammers at Mario and Luigi for 37 years, he is quite an iconic and cool character. So hopefully, if they are going to add more Mario enemies to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, they will hopefully add Hammer Bro to the game. Now, for the final character, we are racing down Big Blue and Mute City to add another non-Nintendo character to round out this pass. And I think all you guys know what this character is straight away. He's been with Nintendo for years, and I think he'd be such a sick character to have. And that is Captain Falcon. Now, come on, you're saying he shouldn't be added when his famous car, the Blue Falcon, is in the game and two tracks from F-Zero are already in the game and present? Come on, Captain Falcon would just be such a cool character to add to the game. And is such a historic Nintendo character, mainly appearing in F-Zero and Super Smash Bros. So let's get Captain Falcon into the game. 
Anyway, guys, that is going to do it for today's video on the possibility of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe character boost pass and what contents and characters it could include. Now, you guys can actually comment down below what characters you'd want to see in a character boost pass. So make sure to go in the comment section down below, you know, and add your comment down below so I can see it. Thank you guys for watching and bye bye.